What do you mean I can't go outside? It's nice out there. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. Today, we're making ladders and we added in a kind of a ledge. So, oh, and we're also going to add little spikes or planks to hold up the ledge. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. So, you know, amongst all the uh, craziness with the COVID and all that stuff, we're inside. So, stay safe, stay healthy, stay away from everybody, I guess. I don't know. I work at a hospital. It's pretty bad. Um, we're healthy. Thank God for that. Um, so, today, we're going to be adding, I built a ladder here, and I added in an edge, like a platform so players can hang out and see what's going on whatever um, what the concept I guess is we have an entrance in this corner and we have an entrance in this corner entrance meaning it's just for visual effects so they can get in they can come out this way come here but we need to figure out something also so that um, this way could be a ladder maybe coming up on this end so they can get up to here we're not sure we'll figure it out but what we're gonna do today is we're just taking pieces of uh, I don't know what they are like toothpicks or skewers I guess and all we want to do is we want to make it look like they are holding these planks these wooden planks that we have inside here they're holding it up so just for looks right so we got our hot glue, and all we're gonna do is add a little bit of hot glue to, to the edge, to one side, and or to the and to the bottom, and we're just gonna we're getting it all messed up. Place it. This is gonna be tough. We're just placing them in. They're not doing anything structurally. They're just giving you the view or the visual aid that there's something holding um, the platform up. Pretty simple. So we're just going to do a couple of these. All that we're doing is take a little bit of hot glue. And we got eight of them. So we're just going to stick them randomly anywhere. Like that. Oops. I don't think my, my hot glue was ready yet. If your hot glue doesn't stick very well, if it's not hot enough, um, you know, obviously you won't have a good bond. You just want to make sure you have a little bit out. Then you can add that to the platform. So, so what we'll have is these get closer there. These kind of ledges, if you can see that very well, they'll be up. I'll show a better picture of it after. You just want to hold it down a bit so the hot glue can stick. Okay. Push another one to that corner. 
corner. And with the hot glue and the wisps, they sit there and they just stick to your fingers. Alright, that's one side. It's coffee time. It's only nine in the morning here. Love it. Same thing for these guys. I didn't really measure too much to see where I was going for um, length of these. Like, I mean, I mean, them all the same length. That's hot. Which is good. Today is a beautiful day outside, if you can get outside. I mean, I'm not saying go to the store or go social gatherings, but if you can get outside and get some fresh air, do it. I mean, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go outside for a little walk later. Yes, I'll stay away from everybody. No issues with that. there. Two more I think will be good. So we added, you can see, um, just sort of like, what would you like, just edges so that it makes it look like, and it does help, it helps this make it look solid, it feels solid and that, okay? Big piece. So next is the ladders. I made this ladder yesterday. Simple, just uh, stir sticks, cut, put it on there. We'll give them a fresh coat of paint after. It'll be fine. So let's get set up and uh, do that. All right, guys. So the nice thing about having this mat is it has grids on it. So you can see that it has like one inch implements of grids. So what we're going to do is we're making one, two, three, four. We're going to make five ladders to add to this set. So what I did was basically cut them at... These would be three inches, because these are in inches. But, and then we cut our other guys by roughly about an inch. So all we're gonna do is take our hot glue, and we're gonna add a little bit of glue, too much, to each edge where we want it. And we're just gonna start off by, we set it up so that we can see exactly where we want. Our first rung, I guess they call it. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your first one on, either the bottom or the top, then you want to do the opposite. You want to do a piece at the top and one at the bottom. This way you can line it up to see where you want your ladders to be. Now I went with a six rung ladder, ring, rung, whatever you want to call it. So there would be your start of your ladder. From there, and you want to keep it. Remember, guys, this is old, ruiny kind of thing. So we're not looking for perfection. They could be crooked. They could be whatever. Discolored, broken up if you want. It's up to you. It's your, your project. This is my project. This is your project. Right? So we're just going to continue by adding all of our ladder rungs on. And like I said, we have six of them to go. Um, you want to make sure that you get hot glue just a little bit, not too much, because this this stuff will, it's messy. We've said it before. I'll say it again, it is messy. So just a couple little drops, just enough so it can stick. These actually won't be used to play on because we won't be setting a character on it, but it will be used as a visual effect. Now you can use your pliers if you want. I'm gonna just go by hand because my hands are shot anyway. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
You can have pieces that are uh, straight, if you want a nice ladder, or you could have pieces that are on their crooked kind of thing. And then once you have that set, like so, for this side, okay, there you have your simple ladder. That's it. Let it dry. Add some paint, add your Mod Podge uh, if you want. It's up to you. You make that choice of what you want your ladders to look like. So I will continue with the other four more and then we'll get to the painting. All right, so we're just gonna add our ladders. So just all we're gonna do is put a little bit of hot glue, ooh, a little bit of hot glue to the bottom. We're gonna add where we wanna put them. And then once they're there, they're stuck. And we'll add just a little bit of hot glue to the sides here. Like so. And we'll do that all the way around for the rest of our, our builds. Our ladder builds. So all we're doing is we're adding ladders all the way around so that it gives the illusion that you can basically climb up any side you want, I guess, to get to the towers. Okay. There we go. So we have our ladders going all the way around and then the, like the little wisps of glue we'll figure that out after what I wanted to do <coughs> next <coughs> excuse me is just add a little bit of bush a little something to the front so I was thinking of just taking a little bit of grass these are dollar store items so all we're gonna do is take out a couple of pieces glue these guys sort of into a little pattern Just add a little bit of hot glue plop them down like so add our little bush make sure you got a lot of hot glue on hand that make sure you get it settled in like so do the same on the other side just by adding a glob of glue We're just randomly putting pieces anywhere adding our little tufts of green to it also just to give it a look of old kind of bushy look again we're not worried what it looks like because we're going to add some Modge Podge to this uh, part so that it really sticks down and it doesn't fall off on you kind of thing. So you can randomly put the pieces on there and it'll look good in the long run. glue and just throwing pieces anywhere you want just to make it look like it's old and overgrown 
kind of thing. Like so. And pushing it down just a bit. So we got the glue in there. We're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna add our Mod Podge to it. All right. So we got our Mod Podge mix and basically it's like a wash. So all we're gonna do is just sort of brush it on to our piece. Just kind of adding it in different areas, getting the stuff that's kind of loose that didn't get stuck down with the hot glue. Sort of just getting it wet on there. Because the Mod Podge will will add um, texture to it and it'll also stick it down. So if you just got areas that you want to put on there just to sort of harden it up, it's a good thing just to put on. Plus I like to darken these pieces that they get from the dollar store. They're pretty green. We're just going to add some color to it. But like I said, this has glue in it, Mod Podge, and <clears throat> that will harden it down too. That's what we want to do. Next thing I want to do is I also want to add some Mod Podge to our ladders. So just a quick little wipe, some spots. Also, what that will do is any spots that have like um, like the glue, the hot glue to it, it'll sort of wipe it, kind of cover it up too. Plus we're not painting the whole thing up as in giving it a different color. We just want to make it look old, you know, rustic looking. So we're going to add, this is sort of like a, a black kind of grayish Mod Podge. We'll also do some of the board that's here just to give it a almost like a dry brush but with color to get it everywhere and I think I said it before hot glue doesn't paint very well at all so either you'd put a primer down on it after I think that would help or you just gotta basically keep on coating um, the piece until it kind of paints up. It's always a good idea. Now, one of the things that I've noticed um, with styrofoam builds, um, if you were to, say, push down hard on this, you will break into it. So you have to be careful when you're doing styrofoam bills. Gameplay is just to set, you know, your pieces on and, uh, you know, move them around. Not to kind of dig into them uh, and stuff like that. Unless you're doing a 3D kind of printing um, sets, I guess you'd be in a safer bet to do it that way. Where you're not at the 3D stage of printing. I don't know if I'd ever want to buy into something like that. I'm not sure. It looks cool, don't get me wrong. Um, looks looks like it'd be a lot of work too. So you'd have to know what you're doing when it comes up to 3D printing. Uh, Black Craft Magic um, shows a lot about that in some of his videos. He does have a 3D printer. Um, I would like to get some different minis made. You know, one day. Maybe I'll try, I'll invest in it. I buy off of a local store here that has uh, different kind of uh, minis. They're the bone collection. They're a lot cheaper. They're more of a plastic, more affordable in my sense, I guess you could say. And everything's about affordability, guys. Like if you could, if you could make these things instead of going to buy them off of China and stuff like that, you know, you're better off because this is an easy build and it looks great at the end of the day. It does. I think, I think people 
would love to be able to do this and have on gameplays and all that. You know, it's it's simple. It looks good. Um, affordable. What can I say? It's there. And fun. The crafting part of it is fun. The one thing is the wood carving. I love doing wood carving. But right now, with the weather and everything, it's just a lot harder to get out and do stuff. Plus, I'd have to, I have to move my equipment back into my shop soon because it's sitting at a buddy's place next door. Um, though it, I will be doing that soon enough so that we can get back into doing some carving. Um, a lot of the videos and people doing the YouTubes, um, doing great jobs. Unfortunately, I got off of a couple of YouTube channels, two especially uh, myself, because I was finding that it was just focused too much on what I'm not wanting to be associated with. So I apologize if you know I was on your channel and I got off it, but you'll see I'm not there anymore. It's just the way it is. I can't support people who support other people that do wrong. Not gonna happen. And I'm not mentioning names and I'm not blaming people. It's just, it is what it is, guys. It's just, it's me. So, there we go. I think we're almost done this kind of a build. What I'd like to do next, um, which would be really good, is figure out what we want to put on the inside. Like, this is a castle, so castles have, you know, it could be an indoor kind of place where there's tables and uh, whatever, or maybe we just leave it set like that and anybody who's, you know, wants to use it can figure out what they want to put in there. I think our next builds we're going to focus on is maybe using uh, different pieces of wood and uh, making tables, maybe, you know, sets for, ow, I got an itchy head for some reason, not bugs, <laughs> you know, stuff like that, so I'm not sure yet what we're going to go at, I really, really want to get back into the carving aspect, um, which will be soon, we'll figure it out, so let's finish off by saying this is complete of what we wanted to do. Let me get you guys in there a little closer to see what's going on. My big hand. All right. So, what we did was we built ladders. All right. We got some ladders going all the way around and up to here. We got ourselves some kind of foliage in the front. And that, we have our drawbridge ladder, a drawbridge that comes down and plays on the inside. Pretty cool. So, I'm gonna call this project a wrap. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Get me in there, get me out there. Do whatever you have to do. We're, we're growing, we're growing daily. We're getting one to two subs a day, that's awesome. Uh, leave comments, don't be shy. Like it, don't like it. Wanna see a different build, want me to see dude stuff. Um, I had a question not too long ago. What about hex grids? Let's try something like that. Maybe if they give me an idea of what they want to build as for an area, instead of having the square, you have a hex grid. So the person turns, you put them on there, and then they have to turn. I don't know. I know nothing about this crap. It's all fun to build. So, again, let's be good to each other. I'll leave a link to my tip jar if you guys are wanting to donate to help out the channel. Everybody who has, I say thank you. You guys are all awesome. If I could do it, you can do it. Choose your own path. Right on. Have a great day.